Hi, my name is Mohammad Maksud Ahmed Saad, and I have done MA in Marketing Education from Jamia Vidya Islam. Right now, I am working in Prime Focus Technology. As For long? Right now, I am working in Prime Focus Technology as in Creative Training. Uh, today's topic is about what is photography. Basically, photography it is the art, or you can say it is the art and science of capturing moment, memories, document things, and etc. etc. But the question is why do we photograph? हम क्यों तस्वीरें खींचते हैं? अलग-अलग लोग अलग-अलग बजाओं से तस्वीरों को खींचते हैं. For example, some people can talk in English. Talk in English, but I am more comfortable in Hindi or. This is internet. Well, basically, why do why do we capture photograph? Some people capture photograph for memories. Some people capture photograph for documentation. Some people capture photograph for. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm more comfortable in what Hindi. Well, try to be in English. Try to be in English. So can you mix it up? Yeah. But be louder. Yeah, yeah. What we need to capture image. Basically, we need a camera. It can be a mobile camera. It can be a compact camera. It can be a DSLR, or it can be an analog camera, which we call a film camera. The principle of camera is the same. It doesn't matter which camera you are using. For example, if you are using a film camera, or you are using a DSLR, the both camera working principle is the same, almost exactly. So right now, we can see in the picture. Camera has two parts. One is the lens, and second is the body. Lens, basically, lens allow light to enter into the camera, and when light enters into the camera, we uh, there, there is a reflect mirror. The, reflect, uh, the, the light. Sorry, light enters into the camera. It reflects from the reflect mirror. Goes into the pentaprism, and then we see what we are trying to capture in the viewfinder. But when we click, basically we are using a digital a DSLR camera or SLR camera. When we press the shutter button to capture the moment or the image, then the uh, then the reflex mirror, basically which is the rolling reflex mirror, it goes it goes up. Shutter goes up. Shutter basically opens, and the sensor or the film plane is exposed to towards the light, and then the then the image is captured on the sensor or film plane. Today, there are many camera which like mirrorless camera. It uses electronic viewfinder, where there is no pentaprism prism inside, so it's very lighter, it's very compact. But the basic fundamental, it captures the light on the onto the sensor. And uh, digitally, it transforms into a LCD screen. Now we know what is camera. We know how camera works. But what are the pillars? What are the basic tools? What are the basic need to know? What what we should know to capture an image? There are three pillars of photography. One is aperture. Aperture basically it just uh, it just a hole which allow light to enter into the camera from the lens. And the second is ISO. ISO basically, if you are using a film can or you are using film roll, so it calls the speed, the speed of the film. It can be 200, 400, 800. In digital, it call ISO. Basically, it is the sensitivity of the light towards the film or sensor. How sensitive is our sensor towards the light? For example, if I am using 800 ISO, so my picture will be grainy, but I will use less shutter speed. Low light. I can capture images in low light as well. And the third is shutter. Shutter basically it is the uh, it it allow light to enter how much time. Basically, shutter defines that how much time will shutter, will sensor or film plane expose towards the light. And the third is lenses. As I said before, the uh, camera has two part. One is body, and and the first is lens. Without lens, camera is not complete. So there are different kinds of lenses. For example, normal lens. Normal lens basically it is a lens which has the diameter or the approximately angle of view according to our eye, which is 48 degree. So normal normal lens. Today normally we say 50 mm is a normal lens for 35 mm sensor. 
basically approximately the diagram. If we uh, if we draw a sensor onto our blackboard or any then the diagonal of the sensor will be our will be the focal length of our normal lens, which is 48 mm. So now today, 50 mm considered as the normal lens. And the second lens is wide angle. What are wide angle lenses? Basically, wide angle lenses are those lenses whose focal length is very, very wide. For example, 16 mm, 25 mm. In a simple word, we can say the focal uh, the lenses which have the wider or less focal length, focal length from the normal lens is called wide angle lens. So for example, 35 mm, 24 mm, 20 mm, wide angle lenses are used for lens scale photography and everything is appeared zoom out, zoomed out and uh, it helps to capture vast area with our camera. Third is telephoto lens. Telephoto lens Telephoto lenses are called basically two lenses which have a narrow angle of view or which have a larger focal length. For example, 300 mm, 100 mm, 75 mm. Basically, to portrait photography, we use telephoto lenses as it has a narrow angle of view and we can focus on the subject and subject will be our main concern in the, in the portrait photography and the background will be blurred. Third is zoom lenses. Zoom lenses basically are those lenses which have a variable focal length. We can just move, we, we can just move the, we can just, we can just rotate the barrel of the lens and then we can shift from white to normal, normal to A. Today, if you are buying a DSLR, then you will get 1855 which is a zoom lens or you can say it's a kit lens, so today's zoom lens are, are very cheap. For example, in Canon, they are providing L lenses, L series lenses. In, in the second category, we say prime lenses. Prime lenses, basically, in cinematography or when whenever you are trying to make a film, so to get a sharper image, we will use prime lenses as it has no focal, uh, it has no variable focal length, it has a fixed focal length. For example, if I am buying 40 mm prime length, it means that I have to shoot on 40 mm. I cannot rotate, I cannot move, I cannot shift my focal length in the lens, within the lens. So, prime lenses are those lenses which allow us to shoot on a certain focal length. Also, it gives a sharper image. Sometimes it has a wide, a wider aperture. Third is macro lens. Macro lens are those lenses which able to produce life size image on the within the camera or on the image sensor. Macro lenses are used for close up photography to capture small things such as, such as bacteria or we can say sometimes we have to capture ants and other animal photography. So we use close up for, for the basic for the close up photography we use. Third is fisheye lens. Fisheye lens is the lens which gives the 180 degree angle of view. It's used for artistic photography and uh, for the landscape photography. Sometimes the image is distorted. But fisheye lens are not used rarely. So is okay, Maktoub, uh, we have few questions. Yes, sir. Like, uh, you just talked about micro lens, right? Yes. So, if we are taking a close-up, we know how to take a close-up, we know how to take tight close-up, but what is the main purpose of taking close-up and what is the main purpose of taking tight close-up? Well sir, with the macro lens? Whatever lens. Okay, when we are saying close-up, so close-up can be, it can be like this, where you, where you are capturing just a head and the half. Till the shoulder. Yeah, till the shoulder. Right. But when I am saying tight close-up, it can be only eyes. It can be only lips. This is what I have said that uh, we know how to take it, right? But why do we take tight close-up and why do we take close-ups? What's the main purpose of taking them? So basically it define... What defines? Close-up or tight close-ups? Tight close-up. Right. Whatever shot we are taking, it defines the purpose of the director or the man who want to take but a But why are directors taking a close-up and why not tight close-up? To close show up? the emotion, to, sh uh, to show the exact emotion. For example, if I'm... If I'm 
starting my album one uh, So is uh, tight close up is there for uh, emotions or close up is there for emotions? Basically close up is for emotion. And then tight, what about tight close up? Tight close up, basically we use tight close up to enhance the effect of that uh, emotion. For example, somebody is crying and we have to show that how he's crying and we we'll use the tight close up. For detailing? For detailing. So okay. Okay, if you want to shoot a very small scene in the night, suppose we have a scene of uh, five minutes in the film. So, what are the basic equipment that you require for night lighting? Well, sir, first I need a fast lens, basically the lens which allows me to capture image on 1.4 or 1.8 aperture, so I can capture the moment or the scene in the low light. In the second Thing, we need some lights, it can be baby, it can be any light which we can do. Any other equipment that we require for night lighting or night shoot? So it depends if we are showing that uh, the scene is happening on the roof, then we will we'll use the baby light or any other light with the blue, um, with the blue gel, so it will create the moonlight effect. But if you are showing that somebody is sitting inside an office and there is a yellow tungsten bulb is glowing, then we use uh, yellow gel, so it will create the tinted effect. But what are the cameras that you are comfortable with? I am comfortable with P2, DSLR, Sony F5. Mark 2, Mark 3, Canon? That is fine, right? Any film camera? Uh, Eddie, F uh, Eddie SR3. SR3. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the DSLR and the film camera? And like, how can you show in the class? If, if uh, you, uh, you are a professor in the class, okay. uh, how can you differentiate in front of the students? If this is the uh, DSLR and this is the film camera. So, how can you show the difference? Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Is it okay, sir? Yes, sir. 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 And जल से वो उसको ट्रांसफर करके हमें एलसीडी पे दिखा देता है देखिए जब मैं एसएलआर की बात करता हूं तो उसके अंदर हम फिल्म का यूज करते हैं 35 एमएम की फिल्म होती है 16 एमएम की फिल्म होती है फिल्म का इस्तेमाल करते हैं अब डीएसएलआर के अंदर जो भी सेंसर लगाया चाहे वो सीमोस हो चाहे वो सीसीडी हो ये सब लाइट्स लाइट सेंसिटिव होते हैं जैसे इस पे लाइट पड़ती है तो में एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिजिटल रिएक्शन होता है जिसकी वजह से हमें इमेज मिल जाती है और जाके हमारे मेमोरी कार्ड में स्टोर हो जाती है लेकिन जब मैं एसएलआर की बात कर रहा हूं तो एसएलआर के अंदर एक फिल्म यूज होती है जिसमें एंटी हेलाइट इमर्शन लगा होता है वो एंटी हेलाइट लाइट की तरफ जैसे ही उस पर लाइट पड़ती है वो एंटी हेलाइट इमर्शन के अंदर रिएक्शन पैदा होता है और इमेज जाके हमारे उसको कैप्चर हो जाती है दोनों का वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल सेम है बस फर्क रखना है कि जब आप एस यूज कर रहे हैं तो आपके पास एक गिना चुना एक गिना हुआ रोल है जिसमें छत्तीस फोटो हर एक फोटो के लिए ध्यान से खींचना है लाइटिंग का शटर का अपर्चर का हर चीज़ का ध्यान रखना है क्योंकि आप जो इमेज खींचेंगे उस इमेज को क्लिक करने के बाद जब वो प्रिंट होगी ना तभी आप उसे देख पाएंगे लेकिन डी एस एल आर में डिजिटल में ऐसा नहीं जब आपने एक इमेज खींची आपने फॉर्मूल से रिव्यू भी अच्छी नहीं लगी दसौ इमेज ज्वेलरी फोटो शूट फॉर विदाउट एनी मॉडल विदाउट एनी मॉडल so for firstly I will use a white background, then I will use two white lights. It can be too bright as well. Then we'll use a prime lens with a fixed focal lens there. Or we can use also zoom lens, but it will create some distortion in the jewelry, in the size, etc. For example, when you are saying jewelry, so what I am assuming that I am capturing a necklace, but when I'm capturing a top, then I will use a macro lens. So it will create one is to one magnification and it will not distort the image and we will see the life size image. 
the exact image, the exact image size. How many types of lenses? Sorry, no? How many types of lenses? There are many Camera types of lenses. lenses, fast lenses, brand lenses, zoom lenses, telephoto lenses, macro lenses, fisheye lenses, normal lenses. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. you need to wait over here only. What we want uh, a meeting with uh, directors, uh, like. Uh,